so by now you would have acquired a lot of customer data to send your information to them and get business if you haven't yet check out my other video where i explain how to get qualified leads for your business using google and chat gpt in this one i'm going to tell you after you have acquired a lot of qualified customers how to exactly conversate with them how to send them emails and not just like mail merge which is sending the same email to every single person but humanizing and personalizing it for specific customers with the use of chat gpt ready to learn let's go so we come back to zapier and the way i would design this is first of all i would have a google sheet full of all the details of my customers details like first name last name industry and the email the second step would be for zapier to scrape all of these and actually keep an eye on that google sheet so that whenever i enter a new leads details it will automatically fetch it and deploy our automation the next step would be to pass through all of these leads details into chat gp api and then humanizing it and personalizing your email for every single person according to their names and their industries lastly the zapier automation would automatically make an email draft and save it inside your gmail so that before sending you can take a look to make sure that the ai hasn't hallucinated it hasn't put any information that shouldn't be there and then ultimately you are the master who is going to send that email and generate business for your company okay so so we go to zapier and we create a new zap and what we want to do is we want to trigger our google sheet right and the event would be new or updated spreadsheet row we select that okay we click continue the count is linked and it's and in spreadsheet we choose our spreadsheet which is my biz leads which is a sheet that i have made right here just for an example for this video okay so we go back to zapier and we choose the worksheet which is the sheet 0 and the column should be any column honestly because we are only concerned about the rows not the columns okay we continue and we test the trigger so it says no spreadsheet row found because it's just an empty spreadsheet right now let me just put a dummy data okay so let's go back here let's test the trigger again and this time it will go through right so continue and the next action would be pass this credential to chat gpt okay we select chat gpt right and we choose event write an email okay and we click continue account is linked recipient's name would be would be the first name okay recipient's email would be the email from the the sheet's data so first name is here email is here right the from name would be your own name so let's say i i put uh batman just for fun okay and the email prompt would be begin begin with a cheerful greeting to first name analyze the uh industry and write an email pitching my services as a b2b consultant to them okay and let's try to instruct the chat gpt how to f how to sound more like us so let's say be cheerful professional and include how the industry can benefit from my services using five bullet points and a paragraph right and let's end the email end the email with respect fully asking for a time for an online 
consultation okay so this is what we will do tone would be uh, I think formal right body type would be plain text is fine and model should be the highest model that's available so we'll go with GPT 3.5 turbo 16k okay max token should be let's say 1000 okay temperature should be 0.7 and top P should be 0.7 we click continue and we retest and there was an issue so let's retest the step and it's talking to chat GPT right now and writing our yes so this is how it has written here is how you're doing hope this email finds you in good health and high spirits I wanted to reach out to today my name is Batman and I'm a B2B consultant with extensive experience in helping businesses like yours optimize I believe my services strategic planning marketing analysis sales I'm confident in my expertise see it has written a really great email that probably only a human would write you cannot replicate this via simple mail merge okay and that is why I'm making this video and that is why I'm telling you the power of integrating chat GPT inside your AI automation workflows so that your outreach can be more humane while getting you more clients and business okay so we publish this oops no, we made a mistake. I had to edit the zap again and I have to add a step in which I have to create a draft email, right? So I will make a Gmail trigger and we have a draft email, right? We click continue account action subject would be I'll take a name. I'll say I'll say hey and I insert the name from our Google Sheet okay two will be those the email of the lead okay and CC if you want to have a CC that's fine otherwise doesn't matter right from should be your own email let's say I put yeah this is fine from name should be Batman and body should be the email body that chat GPT has written right so I click body right like that and this is fine signature if you want you can have a signature otherwise it's fine to just leave it blank label could be if you want to uh, assign a label specifically for all these conversations in your email you can do that and I would advise you to do that because later if you have so many emails it would be hard to uh, track which one was from where so you should have it right now I'm I'm skipping it and attachments if you want to have specific attachments for people to view you can have it otherwise just leave it we click continue and we test the step right so now it's in my draft yes so it has this email is written by chat GPT right with no human intervention with just the process that I just told you on Zapier right so now let's just create some more uh, some more uh, leads like that right uh, create customer list with dummy first name last name email and industry in a tabular format the industry should be varied from all domains let's let's say a 10 customer list okay so this will give us a dummy list of customers these customers you should have acquired otherwise with your lead generation strategies okay so let's copy all of these to the busy leads there is a mismatch where industry email is here so let's just correct that like that put the industry here to the emails back right so this is a dummy uh, prospective customers list prospective leads list with variable industries now let's see how our automation works with this so we go to the app so I'll just name it first uh, okay so I publish this Okay, so after some time, we have all these drafts created by ChatGPT one by one. Let's have a look. 
So this is for Lucas and let's see Lucas was Lucas Taylor and he was in transportation okay so let's go back to Gmail so it says dear Lucas blah 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 and we came across a transportation company okay so it has actually personalized this email for Lucas who has been in transportation industry right so it says it will do streamlined operations with supply chain and logistics it will do market analytics by opportunities of growth in transportation industry partnerships with b2b sector and technology integration and competitive advantage so this is actually related to only transportation industry right let's have a look at sophia and with sophia what it has done is let's see where sophia worked sophia was in hospitality okay so let's go back to email and it says I wanted to reach out to you as a B2B consultant in hospitality business. Okay, great. And it has told streamlined process. I can analyze your current process and identify areas effective increased productivity and by implementing strategies, guest satisfaction. So you understand guest satisfaction is only hospitality. It cannot be written inside transportation industry. And that is why ChatGPT is so good at figuring out what to write to which person right and i can build you a loyal customer base and generate positive reviews and referrals and all of these is actually tailored to sophia who works inside hospitality industry okay so in this way with the combination of lead generation methods google sheet chat gpt api and zapier you can combine all of this to make an ai automation pipeline for your business so that you can just concentrate on generating more qualified leads and let the ai handle the rest and make your business much more profitable that's all for now if you have any questions please write me down in the comments and i'll be super happy to talk to you there take care i'll see you in the next one